Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, my name is Ali Azhara So, on this occasion, I will explain to all of you about my material is model verb So, let's start and keep on watching Okay, you know what model verb is? Model verb is a type of verb that is used to indicate a modality The modalities are possibility, ability, demand, capacity, suggestions, command, and obligation a model verb is an auxiliary verb. This auxiliary verb must be used with the main verb. Auxiliary verb serves to help other verbs to show tenses and also the mode of the speaker. The form of auxiliary verbs are do, be, and have. Examples of model verbs are must, shall, should, will, can, could, may, might, and will. These are some rules for using modal auxiliary. This modal verb is different from other verbs. When using modal verbs, the third person doesn't need to add the suffix as uh, to the present tense. For example, she can or he can. So you don't need to add as at the end of the sentence. And then, in addition, the use of modal verb must be followed by the basic verb such as uh, riding, uh, running, sing, walk, and, and etc. And then, modal verbs don't have infinitive like I, will, and then in. No, that is the wrong form. And then, don't use to between modal and main verb, for example. I will to it, so you don't need to add to between will and it. So now I'll explain you about can, could, and be able to. First is we 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 use can to say that something is possible or that someone has the ability to do something. The negative is cannot. Uh, for example, you can see the ocean from our bedroom window, or if you ask something. Can you speak any foreign language? And then, be able to is possible instead of can, but can is more usual. For example, are you able to speak any foreign language? But can has only two forms, can for present and can and cool for past. So sometimes you have to use be able to. For example, I haven't been able to sleep recently. So in this example, can has no present perfect. And then, uh, Jack might not be able to come tomorrow. So in this example, can has no infinitive. And then, cool and was able to. Sometimes, cool is the past of can. We use cool especially with these verbs. See, her, smell, test. Feel, remember, understand. For example, when we went into the house, we could smell something burning. And we also use could to say that someone had the general ability to do something. For example, my grandfather could speak five languages. And next example, when Jew was 16, he could run 1000 meters in 11 seconds. But if you mean that someone managed to do something in one particular situation, you have to use was or were able to. So compare between cool and was able to in this example. Jack was an excellent tennis player. He could beat anybody. So it mean Jack had the ability to beat anybody. Next example. But once, he had a difficult game against Bob. Bob played very well, but in the end, Jack was able to beat him. So, this is mean he managed to beat him in this particular game. The negative golden is possible in all situations. For example, my grandfather couldn't swim. We tried hard, but we couldn't persuade them to come with us. And then the next model verb is could, do, and could have done. 
So we sometimes use could do in a number of ways. Sometimes it's the past of can do. But sometimes it has a present or a future meaning. For example, we sometimes use could to talk about a possible future action, especially when we make suggestion. For example, when you go to New York, you could stay with Linda. So this is such an a suggestion. We also use could to talk about possible possible future happenings. For example, there could be another rise in the price of gas soon. So this means it's possible that there will be. Uh, sometimes quote means will be able to. Uh, for ex example, in a sentence, why doesn't Tom apply for the job? He could get it. And then the point B, the past of could do is could have done. We use could have done to say that we had the ability or the opportunity to do something, but did we didn't do it. For example, we didn't go out last night. We could have gone to the movies, but we decided to stay home. This is meant we had the opportunity to go out, but we didn't. And we also use could have done to say something was a possibility, but it didn't happen. For example, he was lucky when he fell off the ladder. He could have hurt himself. And then the point C. Here are some examples of couldn't have done. I couldn't have done something. So it means I wouldn't have been able to do it if I had want or tried to do it. And the next model verb is must have and can have. So, we use must to say we are sure that something is true. For example, you have been traveling all day. You must be tired. So, this is mean I'm sure that you are tired. And ex the next example, I heard that your exams are next week. You must be studying very hard right now. So, this is mean I'm sure that you are studying. We use can to say that we think something is impossible. For example, you have just had dinner. You can't be hungry already. It's mean it something impossible that you are hungry. Point B, for the past, we use must have done and can have done. For example, we went to Roy's house last night and rang the doorbell. There was no answer. He must have gone out. So this is mean otherwise he would have to answer it. So couldn't have done is possible instead of can have done. For example, she couldn't have seen me. And the next example, he couldn't have been looking where he was going. And next is may have and might have. For example, you are looking for a jack. And nobody knows for sure where he is, but you get some suggestion. He may be in his office. This is means perhaps he is in his office. And the next, uh, he might be uh, having lunch. This means perhaps maybe check he is having lunch. And we use may or might to say that something is possible. You can say he may be in his office or he might be in his office. The negative is may not and might not. For example, Jack might not be in his office. This man, perhaps, maybe Jack is not in his office. So, and next is, uh, I'm not sure whether I can lend you any money. I may not have enough. This is mean, perhaps, uh, I don't have enough money. And next, the point B, to say what was possible in the past, we use may have done and might have done. For example, in this uh, conversation between A and B, I wonder why Anne didn't answer the doorbell. And then, well, I suppose she may have been asleep. This means perhaps, maybe Anne was asleep. Then the point C, you can use cool instead of may or might, but with cool, the possibility is smaller. For example, where is Jack? 
I'm not sure. He could be in his office. I suppose, but he is not usually there at this time. This is mean uh, the possibility is smaller uh, Jack in his office at this time. And the next model verb is may and might future. Point A. We may we use may or might to talk about possible happenings or possible actions in the future. For example, I'm not sure where to go on my vacation, but I may go to Puerto Rico. So this is mean perhaps I will go to Puerto Rico. And the next example, the weather forecast is not very good. It might rain this afternoon. This is mean perhaps this afternoon will rain. And the negative form is may not and might not. For example, Anne may not come to the party tonight. She isn't feeling well. This means perhaps Anne may not come and she won't come to the party. And it doesn't matter. You may you use may or might. Uh, you can say, I may go to Italy or I might go to Italy. And the point B, there is also a continuous form between me or might be doing. We can compare them in this example. Don't call at 8.30, I'll be watching a football game on TV. And then, don't call at 8.30, I may or we can say, uh, we can use might too. I may or might be watching the football game on TV. It means, if you use this, perhaps I'll be in the, in the middle of watching it. It means you in the middle of watching the football game on TV. You can also use the continuous may or might be doing when you are talking about possible plans. For example, I'm going to Puerto Rico in July. It means you are sure that you will going to Puerto Rico in July. And point C, may as well and might as well. We use may or might as well to say that we should do something, but only because there is no reason not to do it and because there is nothing better to do uh, for example we might as well watch it means why not we watch it because there is nothing to do so we have to watch okay that's all my explanation about the material model verbs uh, thank you for your attention assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh